Senator Rosen by Zoom. Yes, yes, thank you, uh, uh, Ranking Member Paul. I appreciate uh, you calling on me. Thank you for holding this important hearing to review the SBA's entrepreneurial development programs and its initiatives. And I wanna thank your witness, the witnesses here for the testimony today. I wanna to talk a little bit about support for startups because Nevada's home to more than 280,000 small businesses, which actually make up over 99% of businesses in, in our state. Over the past two years, Nevada's seen a spike in new startups, creating jobs, of course, and uh, great new economic opportunities. And according to the Economic Development Authority of Western Nevada, the Reno Sparks metro area alone, nearly 100 startups have launched since the beginning of the pandemic. Startups we know are an integral part of the American economy and they're increasingly becoming part of Nevada's economic resurgence from the pandemic. And as a strong advocate for entrepreneurship, I wanna ensure that this surge continues. So Mr. Madrid, how is SBA encouraging new startups in the midst of a pandemic and how can congress help you improve the startup ecosystem particularly in the emerging startup markets markets beyond silicon valley uh, markets like las vegas and reno thank you senator for the question i'm happy to report that one of administrator guzman's charges is to focus on innovative startups so uh thank you for your question innovative startups uh we Given that stat of 5.4 new business applications in 2021, which is 1 million more than the previous year and a record, uh, this is absolutely essential when we look at the job creation potential and also considering that 20% of new businesses die in the first year. So we are excited. I'm glad you mentioned uh, you know, uh, Nevada there. Uh, we recently visited uh, with a uh, entrepreneur there that uh, is in utilities, it's Live Electric and she was a graduate of our Emerging Leaders Program, and she talked about her startup phase and the journey of becoming a woman-owned certified business and her journey in terms of procuring uh, with the utilities companies, and she wouldn't have been able to do it um, as quickly or as efficiently without the support of the resource partners. And so we're excited to continue that storyline and the storyline that I mentioned with the 5.4 million potentially Yaelis of the world and their startup phase, because we don't want one to fail, much less 20%. Thank you. I want to move on and talk about expanding our program eligibility because, you know, there's been a lot of economic challenges brought on by the pandemic. It's been devastating for small businesses, of course, not just in Nevada, but everywhere. But Nevada, we still have the second highest unemployment rate in the nation. So for some of my constituents, without additional relief or at least access to the SBA's traditional support programs, their businesses could end up closing their doors. It's why I've made a priority to expand SBA program eligibility to all small businesses in Nevada and nationwide. And last year, uh, Senator Ernst, who was just before me, uh, her and I had bipartisan legislation to allow nonprofit small business child care providers to, to participate in all SBA programs. I've also advocated for state legal cannabis small business businesses to receive equal support from the SBA. So again, Mr. Madrid, as the U.S. faces a child care crisis, what can the SBA do to ensure that nonprofit child care providers get the entrepreneurial development support that they need? Um, and separately, um, in Nevada and so many other states, we do have a, a legalized marijuana. And what can we do to ensure that legal businesses, including state legal cannabis business, small businesses, can take advantage of these entrepreneurial programs as well? Thank you, Senator, and thank you for mentioning this, uh, the criticality of child care. Uh, we are very interested at the agency level to help small business and invest in working small businesses so that they can have quality and affordable child care. Thank you for your efforts with child care businesses, specifically in Nevada, and we will continue uh, to look at that. We'd love to work with your office, of course, uh, so thank you for mentioning that. Um, and overall, just about your sentiments on startups and specifically taking a look at the coalition building that's, take, uh, that's taking place in Nevada. We feel that the resource partners with their nuanced specialty programs and building coalitions together and creating a cross referral network, including the community navigators is going to be essential. It's going to be an essential in Nevada as well. Uh, thank you. I see my time is uh, just about 10 seconds. So Mr. Chair, I'll yield back. Senator Hall. 